What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Blue DAC 2 digital analog converter and home receiver. This is available in black and silver but the setup for each is the exact same. As you can see it comes with the receiver itself, a USB-C to USB-A cable, a Bluetooth antenna, a wireless remote, and a power supply. So a digital to analog converter takes the digital signal from your TV, computer, your phone, gaming console, etc. and converts it to analog signal for the highest fidelity of audio to go out to your speakers. And the cool thing is it automatically reads the bit depth and sampling rate of whatever device is connected to any of the inputs and converts that digital signal from analog from there. Depending on the device you're using, you may be able to switch the sample rate or bit depth to your preference. So when setting up speakers to your amplifier, we have plenty of options because the amp is 4 ohm stable, as long as you make sure the total load of your speakers doesn't fall below 4 ohms. We actually made this chart here of the different speaker options you have available with this amplifier. So to set the speakers up, I'm just going to take some speaker wire. I'm going to loosen these terminals here on the back of the amplifier so I can feed my wires through. I'm then going to take one end of my wire and plug the red one into the positive red terminal on one side, and then plug the black wire into the black negative terminal on the same side. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug them into the positive and negative terminals on my speaker. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side for my next speaker. Now because the speakers we're using today are actually 8 ohm, we can run some more speakers on each side for a total of 4 ohms per channel. We can do this by parallel wiring another set of speakers on each side, and if you want to learn more about how to do that, check out a video we made specifically on parallel wiring for your stereo system. Now if we want to expand our setup even further, we also have an RCA sub output to add a subwoofer. To do this, you can either take one side of your RCA cable and plug one end into the sub out on the back of the receiver, and then plug the other end into just one of the channels on the input for your sub. You can also take a single RCA to dual RCA cable, plug the single end into the sub out on the receiver, then plug the dual ends into both the left and the right input on the back of your sub. So if we take a look at the front of the receiver, you'll see that we have the power button right here. So we can hold that down to turn it on. And then we can short press this button to switch between the different inputs that include USB, optical, coax, aux, and Bluetooth. Next to that, we have the volume wheel here to adjust the volume coming out of the receiver. We also have the coax input on the back of the receiver, so you can follow similar steps in case you wanted to use the coax output on your TV. We can then press on this button to adjust the base for the receiver, and then we can press it again to adjust the treble for the receiver. So one of the inputs we can use on the Blue DAC 2 is the USB input to connect devices like my laptop right here or a computer. So to connect my laptop to the receiver, I'm going to take the included USB-C to USB-A cable, plug the USB-A end into my laptop, then plug the other end into the USB-C port on the back of my receiver. So like I mentioned earlier, we can switch the sample rate or bit depth depending on the device we're using, so that this way we're sending the best quality possible to the receiver in order to get that high fidelity analog sound. So to do that on our PC, we're going to scroll down to the bottom right corner where the sound icon is, click on this arrow here above the volume bar, from there we're going to be able to change the audio output, so in this case we want to switch it to the Blue DAC 2. From there we're going to right click on the sound icon, click the sounds tab, from there we're going to go to the playback tab here, double click on the Blue DAC 2, from there you're going to go to the advanced tab, and then under the default format we can go to this drop down menu here, and then choose from all of the different formats we have available. For today we're going to switch it to 24 bit and 48 kilohertz. After we're all done setting it up, we can press apply. And then you'll see next to the screen here that the receiver is taking the 48 kilohertz from our computer. A quick note, depending on the program you're using, whether it's Google, Spotify, etc., the Blue Deck is always going to revert to the sample rate available on that program. Now say you wanted to do this with a Mac computer or laptop, you're going to follow very similar steps. Now because a lot of the newer MacBooks only have USB-C ports, I'm going to take a regular USB-C to USB-C cable, but you can always use a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you're just using the included USB-C to USB-A cable. 
So you're gonna plug one end into the USB-C port on the back of the receiver, then plug the other end into one of the USB-C ports on your computer. Now on the newer OS's for Mac, you may actually get an accessibility prompt so that the computer can communicate with the receiver. If that pops up, you're just gonna press OK. So now to set the receiver as your output device on your computer, you're gonna go into the sound settings of your Mac, scroll down to the output and input section and look for BlueDAC 2, and click on BlueDAC 2 to set it as the output device. Now to switch the sample rate and bit depth on your Mac, you're just gonna go to the spotlight here, search for the audio MIDI setup app available on every Mac. And then as soon as we open up the app, you'll see the blue DAC 2 over here. And to change the format, we're just gonna go to the format section over here and click down on this drop down menu. From here, we'll have all these different menus available, but if we click on the bit depth menu, you'll see all the different bit depth and sample rates we can use with the receiver. So for example, it's set to 48 kilohertz right now, but if I switched it to 96, it's automatically gonna switch to 96 on our receiver, letting us know that's the sample rate playing from our computer. But remember, the blue DAC is automatically gonna read the sample rate depending on the program you're using. Now we also have the optical input on the back of the Blue DAC 2, which is great to use with your TV setup. So to set that up, you're gonna need an optical cable. You're gonna plug one end into the optical output on the back of your TV. After you do that, the other end of your optical cable should light up red, meaning that the signal from your TV is coming out through the cable. Then you're gonna take the other end and plug it into the optical input on the amp. We're also gonna to wanna to set the blue DAC 2 to optical mode using the select button here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go into the TV settings and switch the audio output to audio out optical. Then you're gonna to wanna to go into the advanced or expert settings on your TV and switch the format to PCM. This will ensure that your TV is sending out stereo signal to your amplifier. After that, you're just gonna raise the volume and then everything coming from your TV that's going into the receiver should be coming out of your speakers. As far as the sample rate and bit depth go for your TV, you can go into the expert or advanced settings and see if you can change it. But regardless, the Blue DAC TV is gonna read the sample rate that's being picked up from the TV and convert it to the analog signal for the best audio. Now, another way we can use the Blue DAC 2 is with our gaming console. So if your TV and gaming console are connected through the HDMI cable, that leaves the optical output open on your gaming console to go into your receiver. So to set that up, we're just gonna take our optical cable here, plug one end into our gaming console, then plug the other end into the optical input on our receiver. From there, you can go into the audio settings of the console, switch the output to the optical output, and make sure that the amplifier is set to the optical mode. And then the Blue DAC 2 will read it automatically so that it's receiving the best sound quality possible and then switching it to the analog signal. Now another cool feature is that the Blue DAC 2 has Bluetooth compatibility so we can pair our smartphone or tablet. To do that, we're just gonna switch the receiver to Bluetooth mode using the select button here. You'll know your receiver is looking for a Bluetooth device when the BT logo is flashing. Then we're gonna go into the Bluetooth settings of our smartphone or tablet, search for the device that reads Blue DAC 2, click on it to pair, and then you'll know your device is connected when the BT logo stays solid. The Blue DAC 2 will automatically read the sample rate for Bluetooth at 48 kilohertz. So let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. Ooh, yeah, very nice. Sounds really good. In case we didn't want to use Bluetooth, we also have the aux input on the back. And if we wanted to use that input, you just want to make sure to set the receiver to aux mode using the button here. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Blue DAC 2 digital analog converter and home receiver. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time. Wow, wow, wow.